Hi, I'm Steve Shelburne, owner and operator of Shelburne RV here in beautiful Cleveland, Tennessee. Good morning from Shelburne RV. Get a little late start this morning. I had a lot going on trying to get lined up this morning. Hey, look at there. Cousin Gary. He's hanging out over there this morning. Go around and see what's going on over here today. We got a expedition right there they're working on. Looks like Lewis and uh, Manny are working on that. And then we got Brandon over here doing an install on a platinum class B, put an air conditioner on it. So got them busy doing that. But I want you to look at this uh, expedition we got going on here. Had a customer had it towed in, had a had a inner tire that blew out. And so I'm gonna let you, let me spin this camera around. You can take a quick look at this. So they got this, got this up here this morning and you can see quite a mess. So that tire blew out and this thing has done all kinds of damage inside this. So we're doing and trying to get all the problems figured out so we can get an estimate for the insurance company but we actually found over here in the water bay there's actually rubber from the tire inside the water bay so we're gonna have to do some water hookups and some other stuff to see what's going on here but lots and lots of damage going on inside that you can see inside there it has really and we'll have to get back in there Got to get back in all that and figure out what's going on because there's there's a story to be told back there but obviously has done lots and lots of damage so that's kind of what we're working on there this morning let's go back in here to the paint shop i know hank's been working on this floor we've just about got the floor and put back in this thing and he's got the new carpet in here so let's go in here and see what's going on this morning with mr hank i know he's been busy in here turn this around so you can see this carpet we got going on here so hank's got the new carpet laid down in here you saw in a previous video where we were had all this pulled out of there and that carpet was gone and mr hank has gone in here and laid this nice carpet in there and they've got all the got all the facial put back on um, we actually laid new carpet right there in the base of the other slide before we put it back in so they've got the refrigerator back in got all that done this carpet looks really nice the other slide they got the new the new membrane on the roof put in and then hank got this plywood one inch plywood all milled out yesterday and tongue and groove and again there was another video we did where we did a floor on a 2017 voltage and you can watch the video on that but again put this nice metal laminate on here really makes that waterproof so we're going to work on getting that back in hopefully later today but yeah we got a lot going on here today trying to get some of these other projects finished up but we'll see how today goes but as you can see we got a lot on our plate all right so had a few things i had to take care of so i'm just now getting back out here where i can look at a few things um we're gonna go back here and look at this big fleet wood let me let me turn this camera around so you can see so they've got all the bays opened up in here because they're doing an inspection on all the wires to see what's been busted or pulled out or or whatever's going on. But I want you to see what we got going on here from this blowout damage. So now that Manny's got everything pretty well opened up, you can see how bad this blowout was. Obviously, the whole panel's been been compromised we've got the wheel off so you can really get in here now and see what kind of damage this did so we've got to check that's the fresh water tank right there and the black water tank is all in here but you can see how much damage was done in here i mean there's plastic pieces clear up in the top of there there's actually a piece right there so we really got to inspect all this and see this panel's been pulled down so just all kinds of a mess in here so next day or so we're really going to be tearing into this to try to figure out what's going on but we've got all the bays open there's the drive shaft right there they got it out from when they towed it up here 
So I've got to have a mechanic shop come in and put that back in. But yeah, quite a bit going on there, as you can see. Mr. Brandon got the new air conditioner on the platinum right there, so it's ready to go. So yeah, more uh, more to come. Well, it's morning again. Got here a little bit early. I had to get some wiring pulled. Got a new light that I was installing right there. Get it up. It's dark right there in front of the building. So got a lot on our plates this morning. I'll show you this generator we're working on. Let me flip this around. Got this 10 kW generator that came out of a uh, 2000 Fleetwood and it was making some noise. And as you can see, Baron's out of the stator. Also noticed that that could be a problem. So 95 model generator. So uh, unfortunately that Baron is unavailable. So I'm going to have to do some, have to do some research on that. See if I can find something to go, but got a lot going on this morning. So we got the big country ready to come out of the body shop. Got to get it pulled out. We got the floor ready to go in. So we're going to do that this morning and we'll see what else we're going to get into. Electric landing gear. Gotta love it. Slow. I got this big country out of here, so we're gonna get it leveled up and then bring the bring the slide out and get it put in. Turn the breaker on and the air conditioner compressor running continuously. You can't control it with the thermostat. So I did a quick look at this, and this is the old style Dometic thermostat. So obviously contactor welded together. So we are gonna have to change this old thermostat box over to a new style digital three-button thermostat, which I'm not a fan of but it is what it is and then customer claimed or stated that we had a problem we got a problem with the furnace so basically what I'm gonna do now is just take the two furnace wires and tie them together and if I get the furnace to come on then that verifies whether the furnace is good or whether I've got a problem with with the thermostat box now I've got the two blues tied together and the furnace hasn't come on, so we're gonna have to dive into what's going on with the furnace. Obviously got something going on with the furnace. Okay, so I've got the two furnace wires hooked straight together and the switch was actually off on the furnace, so that's an easy fix. So we're gonna take this old analog thermostat and we're gonna change it out with this nice new three button thermostat, which again, I'm not a huge fan of but it is what it is when it comes to Dometic. So we're gonna get that changed out right quick and then retest. So looking at this customer's hot water heater, obviously gas valve problem, not letting gas through was causing the issue. And then look what's not on the front of this camper, a battery. Gotta have a battery on this camper to make them work right. All right, got the new gas valve on. See that thing working real nice. So should be good to go on that. We've checked the air conditioner. Air conditioner's good to go. So got this one done and ready. All right, I got, there's the radio. This is Steve. There's a gentleman here to look at my carton camper. 
Okay. So I'm saying I got done doing what I was doing. So I'm over here seeing what's going on. The guys are actually over here working on another hot water heater. And then we've got a big fifth wheel over here that has got a slide out arm problem on the slide out. So yeah, there's there's the new new arm right there. And they've got to go in here and pull that pull that out and then replace that the gear rack's all chewed up on it. So it's it's dragging and popping and cracking and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. So they gotta change that out. And then I've got this one right here. Obviously a broken window. And that window's got to come out and be taken down to the glass shop and have a new piece of glass put in that. And then we got the floor in. You saw the video a few minutes ago about the floor. We got that in and they're working on that. So now I got a customer I gotta go see. All right, done meeting with this customer down here on this camper. So I'm gonna go down here and make a few phone calls. Let's see what's going on. Phones are ringing. So I gotta call to find out what's going on with that. So more later. Cousin Gary, look at there, he's turning red in the face. You got to put your back into it, Gary. Is it is it in there? It's in there. I can't believe that they would have done something like that. Get the impact. Let's see if cousin. Let's see, let's see if cousin Gary's got it in him today. Oh, did it move? No. Uh oh. All right. Well. That means Steve's going to have to get involved. Let's we'll see what goes on here. All right, they got the big breaker bar on there, and, and Gary, Cousin Gary, standing right there. Well, it's good. Wade wasn't holding us. Oh, Wade wasn't holding it, and Gary said he loosened it I'm up. Just so. <laughs> this is what I deal with every day, guys. <laughs> so now that they've got the check valve out of the hot water heater, I can move on to something else. It's fun watching them try to, try to get that stuff out sometimes. Let's see what's going on in this floor repair they got going on in here i'm gonna turn this thing around all right so we got the new floor in looks good uh the customers got the carpet having the hem seamed all the way around that so we got that they still got to put the windows in they've got the trim and all that to get back in and it looks like brandon hiding over there on the floor is working on the uh Working on the rails, putting the butyl tape on for the rails. So heading in the right direction there. We'll go over here and see how Lewis and Manny are doing on this arm for the slide. We got this arm that's got to come out of here. Let's see what's going on over here. How's it looking, gentlemen? Oh, it's a work in progress. Work in progress. About a hundred baby steps to do something real easy. <laughs> the way it goes sometimes. The way it goes sometimes. So, got them rolling this morning. So, see the office folk there in here covered up this morning. All right, so I've got to go out to my office. I've been instructed that I've got a insurance warranty claim that I've got to call in. So, Wish me luck. That'll be a 30 to 45 minute wait on the phone. We'll get that done and we'll see what else is going on here in a little bit. So the most amazing thing just happened to me. I actually got that insurance claim done in less than 20 minutes. It hardly ever happens. I don't know. Maybe the planets are aligning. Anyways, I got that done and I've been instructed it's lunchtime. So I'm going to lunch. Well, just got back from lunch and just had a meeting with the insurance man on that little jewel all that wiring and blowout yeah it's not looking good on that that's pretty bad a lot of stuff we got to figure out on that so anyways i've got to run home right quick i've got a garage door man come look at my garage door at the house so i gotta run home take care of that and i'll be back in a little bit all right got back from running my errand back here at the shop see what's going on I've been told I got three campers I got to move up to the storage lot, so I'm going to take care of that in a minute. But I come over here to see what was going on with Cousin Gary. He's still working on that hot water heater. That thing's about to whoop him. So I've got this Cougar fifth wheel down here that they just got done doing a 
blowout damage estimate on. And of course, you can hear my phone. I'm on. I'm on. Uh, on hold right now with Rev Parts Group because of the big. Yeah, look at that blowout damage right there. So I'm waiting on uh, to get into Rev Parts Group on this big expedition. It's got the blowout damage, trying to round up some parts or see if we can even get parts for that. So that's the way it goes sometimes in uh, the RV world. But anyways, I got three. I got to move into storage, so it's turned into Porter Steve Part Two. Watch for that video. Well, you should have already watched that video. Anyways, we're gonna move some campers. See how it goes. All right, that's one down. Two more to move up here on the storage lot. I didn't get to talk to Rev of RV parts on that big expedition with the blowout damage. I gotta send a lot of pictures in. That may be, that's gonna be fun. All right, two more. two big alliance rv that one of our customer stores with us but i will tell you this is a heavy coach Got a lot of weight to it all right there's number two got mr wade back there right there waiting on me go down here and grab the grab number three and i gotta get back on insurance claims got a bunch of insurance claims to call in Takes a long time. All right, number three. I'm done being Porter Steve. I gotta go in and be insurance man, Steve. Go in here and get my insurance calls made right quick. Hopefully I can have that done in the next hour. Some of those take just a few minutes to do, like the one this morning. Some of them take an hour to do. Just depends on how backed up they are and how difficult the claim is. So hopefully I can get them done pretty quick here. I'm starting to get towards the end of the day. Sometimes they don't answer the phone after a certain amount of time, but I spent a lot of time doing that. So I gotta go take care of that. Well, got sidetracked a second. Can't do the insurance claim. I gotta run to the local hardware store, parts store, get an antenna for a coach we're working on. But let's go over here and see what our favorite technician is into. Old cousin Gary. Looks like he's got his hot water heater back in. Again. Again. Yes. Okay. Where he goes sometimes. All right, got done with my run down to the parts store. Well, look at look at what they're working on right here. Working on this, working on this pop up. What you guys got going on here today? A bad GFI. So bad every GFI. They, every time they would plug up, their uh, breakers would trip on them, and uh, so they had a loose neutral inside of their breaker box. The very first outlet was the GFI. It was showing hot and ground reversed. I pulled the GFI out, wired my hots and my neutrals together, then went down the series in line, powered it back up, and found that hot neutrals weren't reversed anymore, oh. which means a bad GFI. Gotcha. So, well, good. Looks out. like you guys got that under control. Yes, sir. Yeah. Follow me. He's always, he's always looking for me. Cousin Gary. And then he about ran into the pole. Did you see that? <laughs> Cousin Gary got this hot water heater back in this six gallon Atwood. And after about 15 minutes, it starts leaking water. So we've got a adapter set up here with tomorrow morning. We're gonna hit, we're gonna hook some 120 volt power to it. We're gonna hook a garden hose to it. Uh, and just make sure that when this thing's getting hot, something's expanding and leaking, which it doesn't start leaking water until after about 15 minutes of it warming up. So we're gonna retest that tomorrow and see what's going on with that. So right now it's just kind of getting towards the end of the day. And we're just trying to get everything closed up for the night, but we got quite a bit done today. They got the uh, they got the pop-up over there all finished up. So they're finishing up today, getting everything closed up and getting ready to go home. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and always remember that this video is Cousin Gary approved.